Hello YouTube, how's everybody doing? All right, all right. On today's video, we'd like to show you how to change or replace uh, the front brake parts and rotor on a Ford E350 Super Duty uh, or Chevy Express 3500 with a dually. This is a this is an RV. So RVs. Uh, are different or uh, heavy duty vehicles are different uh, when it comes to their uh, front brake uh, rotors and parts the regular passenger vans are not like that so uh, I'm gonna show you how to replace them especially replacing the rot rotors is a little bit complicated than uh, just a regular uh, the van version of it so, hope this video helps. All right. You have to shake the wheel pretty good for it to release. And also you have to lift it up under here. You see the frame? You see where the frame is? Yeah. Basically most RVs are exactly the same Ford or Chevy RVs so yeah this way you lift, lift it up yeah As you can see, the rotors, they look very different than regular ones. And as you can see, it involves removing all these bolts first to detach the this wheel hub from the rotor yeah so after that we'll see what's what's in there then it'll be removed it's a little bit different than more engaging than regular brake uh, and rotor replacement on a regular vehicles yeah all right keep watching all right so some uh, correction i need to make uh, this system as you can see is different when it comes to like uh, ford e350s this only applies to chevy uh, chevrolet express 3500 with a rear dually like uh, those rvs which are based on a chevrolet chassis that applies to only those rvs because as you can see uh, it's different when it comes to the fords so all you have to do is insert yeah insert it from there <coughs> the, that's how you access the bolts now we have to remove all those <coughs> by the way this video is sponsored by daniel garage las vegas if you have any mechanical needs definitely daniel garage on 4420 Arville Street is the place to come. Right now, they just also st uh, are opening up a body shop. Uh, so as you can see, they just installed this uh, body shop machine. Uh, so they're gonna be servicing uh, any body repair needs. Uh, also, their garage has been operating for over 10 years. They repair uh, all kinds of vehicles. Um, so if you have any needs, their price is extremely reasonable. Uh, yeah, I've been coming to them for many years. Uh, yep, Daniel Garage, Las Vegas, Nevada. Right behind uh, the Palms Hotel and Casino, 4420 Arville Street. Yep. All right, back the video for the brake parts and rotors. Yeah, so right now just trying to remove yeah 
trying to remove this this part first to have access to the rotor so yeah these heavy duty vehicles they mount the wheel hub on top of the rotor so it's a little bit different yeah so you just have to remove all those one two three four five maybe about eight okay eight bolts and then then you can have access to the rotor yep after that i guess it's pretty basic like any other vehicle uh, maybe we'll see what the next step is all right all right so now we're just removing this there's one bolt right there and one bottom when you connect that then you can have access to the brake rotors i'm sorry the the pads and then just like any other brake job all right so yeah the reason why they add the factory adds this spacer is because it's a heavy dt vehicle so uh for the for the wheel basically otherwise if you of course you can literally connect this wheel back to this because many cars are like this but they put this spacer so that it doesn't rub to the big tires because they added the big tires to carry this big rv that's why they add these spacers uh, otherwise the, it's not gonna be a comfortable ride or it's gonna grind to the inside of the wheel all right So now we just install the rotor, very easy, just slide it in and uh, now just greasing the, uh, the brick, what, is, what do you call that, the brick, those silver caliper things, bolt. caliper bolt, yeah. bolt, yeah, a caliper bolt, just putting those in, no, this is a caliper, no, bracket, it's a bracket, yeah, those are caliper brackets, just put it in, and then you have to grease them so it doesn't squeak and then also the caliper bolts need to be greased so that the one that goes sliding to the brake shoe holder yep then you do it here very nice so it's supposed to be very you know like a, like a rough when you touch it that's how yeah, the old one let's compare it Check this out yeah i was dealing with a lot of squeaking issue that's why i'm changing it even though the parts are thick but super smooth you see very glassy smooth feeling that shouldn't be like that that's gonna be creating a lot of squeaking yeah so the new ones they're very rough so that's how it's supposed to be yeah but definitely it's not recommended to you know rotors you can, you can get them machined for regular vehicles it's vibrating huh? it's vibrating i'm sorry In heavy cars yeah uh, you have to change the rotor yeah if it's heavy vehicle like this when it comes to rvs and uh, heavy duty vehicles uh definitely uh mechanic is saying it's not recommended to machine these rotors it's better to replace uh 
Yeah, that's why we're replacing these rotors. Yeah. And now we're putting the brake, the brake pads, just aligning. Aligning them to those holes. Same thing for the back. Uh, quick question, quick question. You yeah. don't want to grease the tops? You know, many times they say this one? part. No. Yeah, yeah. No? no, it's not necessary. Okay. That's not necessary. Yeah. It's going to be fun after this. No more squeaking. It's going to be a nice ride. Yeah. And now we're just inserting the bolts, upper bolt and bottom bolt from the back. Yeah. Just like any normal car. Hmm? Alright, now we're putting the spacer. Just putting all the bolts around it. That's how you do brake pad and uh, Rotor on a this is a 2008 Chevrolet Express 3500 Super Duty. Not the same like those the 2018 or 17 Ford E350s. Those have a, like a bearing from inside there that you have to remove the bearing and you have to grease and more complicated work. Uh, but this one, yeah, it's very close. And similar to regular vehicle except you have to remove this spacer first to get access to the rotors and that's basically it and then that's just like any regular car all right hope this helps take care you guys